Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to share with you another recently completed painted build here. This one is the G-Frame Sazabi. So yes, I did actually finally get around to painting up a G-Frame kit. It's something that I've wanted to do. I don't have a lot of them. I only have a handful of... Uh, four or five maybe G-Frame kits. And this one right after putting it together and doing my review on it, you can go back and check that out if you're interested just to see my original review on this kit. Uh, I did like all the prep work on it. I got rid of the mold lines, the, well the mold lines and the seam lines, I mean the seam lines and the mold lines, got rid of all that, got it all prepped up, got it primed. And then it was sitting around in the box for months and months and months since then. So I finally looked at that and said, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that painted up. And this is the original idea that I had. So it's not like I didn't have an idea. This was how I always wanted to paint the kit up. And it's sort of like a block camo pattern inspired by the Machine Krieger Cause uh, camo scheme. This, the, one that, the camo scheme that I did is a little bit more darker and a little bit more blue. The Cause camo scheme is like uh, white and gray. Basically I did kind of uh, more bluish gray and a darker bluish gray. But that is where the inspiration comes from and that was uh, always my original idea for this. It just took me forever to actually get around to doing it. So finally I did it. So this was just hand painted uh, with lacquer paint, sort of a Machine Krieger style for this. And definitely one of the things that I wanted to try to do was making those straight lines of the camo pattern by just um, by hand brushing. Uh, which is was really not all that difficult. First of all, I just sketched out the pattern just with a pencil, just on top of the primed kits. Once I had the surfacer on there, I just used a brown mahogany surfacer on that, and then just some pencil, uh, sketch out the camo pattern, and then just start blocking it in. So it took a couple of coats just to get everything all, you know, good solid coloration and everything. Uh, the yellow, the yellow, I'm not sure. I mean, the yellow is like part of the original color scheme that I wanted to bring into this one as well. But I'm not sure about the yellow on this. It's, uh, I mean, the color is okay. I'm not sure I really like the color. I'm also not really sure I like the placement of it. The shoulder, especially, like on the shield and the back scar, I think it looks pretty good in that it's kind of just like a horizontal line. It kind of breaks the angles of the mobile suit anyway. But the one on the shoulder kind of follows the angle of the shoulder and it's kind of more at an angle. And I'm not sure if it really matches with the scheme as well as the one on the shield and the back skirt. I'm not sure. I was on the fence about where exactly I wanted to place the stripe on the shoulder. I was pretty sure I wanted to put a stripe there as well, but I was kind of, I played around with the idea whether I wanted to put it vertically or horizontally or horizontally just on like the front part of the shoulder armor or what. Anyway, uh, so let me know your guys' thoughts about that. What do you think is that, do you like that placement of that yellow bar on the shoulder? or not, I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but everything else I think looks really good. I think the colors came out looking really nice. Uh, the camo pattern, like paint, like I said, painting that by hand actually was not as difficult as I maybe was expecting. I kind of knew, I had an idea about how to do it. I just used a flat headed brush and you just utilize that the flat head to just kind of brush the edges of like the sharp edges and it makes it pretty easy overall. And that was really all there was to it. I then just put a couple of decals on there, really not all that many. Those are just, again, Machine and Krieger decals. Uh, and then just use some dark brown, a Mr. Color, like a Mr. Weathering wash on it. Just kind of brush that around on it. Just kind of dirty it up a little bit, fill in the panel lines and details and stuff like that. And just kind of give it a little bit of a warm tone to kind of balance out the cool blues. Uh, by using that brown wash on it and that's basically about it i use the the top coat i use on it is kind of a mix it's i use a semi-gloss top coat but i mixed in a little bit of matte so it's uh it's kind of between matte and semi-gloss it's still like it got that semi-gloss shine to it which is what i wanted but i didn't want it to be too glossy so i think i got a good balance there with the top coat i think it came out looking pretty nice it's satiny with just a little bit of shine on it it looks nice and then just mount it onto this very simple base, which is actually just like a wood coaster from Daiso. It's like a dollar, <laughs> but they they work really well for just like small kits like this. I used one uh, not too long ago for the uh, Mode Lock Fujin kit, if you guys remember that one, which I also did in a very similar kind of chemo scheme, actually. They had a simple enough base, and then just a three millimeter uh, brass rod up to the kit and that's about it. So just a fun little project and emphasis on the little in case you guys are unfamiliar with G-Frame, this is smaller than 1 in 44 scale. I'm not exactly sure what the scale would be. I think it'd be closer to around 1 to 1 180 or maybe even 1 to 200 scale. Maybe maybe not that, maybe not quite that small. Maybe 1 to 180 or something around there. But especially for doing this kind of like painting style on the gun kit, it's fun to work on something smaller like this uh, where you, you have a relatively simple kit, not a lot of parts on there, obviously. You gotta have a good amount of detail, 
but just a few parts and so it's pretty easy to just paint this by hand. And I do actually have two other G-Frame kits, the Goof Custom and the Full Armor Gundam that are also prepped and I'm planning on painting those hopefully sometime in the near future as well and I plan on painting those by hand as well. But that's about it for the Sazbi here, guys. So again, let me know what your thoughts down in the comment section below. How do you think that it came out? So what do you like or dislike about the kits? Any advice or uh, recommendations you guys would like to share for if I ever do something like this again in the future? Always happy to hear your guys' comments. So thank you so much for that. Thank you to USA Gundam Store as well for making it all possible. If you guys want to check out all the different Gundam kits and stuff that we've got there, as always, you guys know the link and the coupon code for you guys to use is in the video description below so check out all the different cool stuff we got there and finally thank you guys for your support liking the video commenting subscribing all that's greatly appreciated as well until next time i hope you all having a great day i'll see y'all later Bye bye